I take no pleasure in killing. I'm not a war junkie. But Major Matthew Goldstein believes his decision to kill an unarmed suspected Taliban bomb maker was a just one. This is a, a known member of a declared hostile force. And the rules of engagement direct me to use lethal force against members of a declared hostile force of the Taliban. It happened during a major operation in 2010 in the town of Marja, where Goldstein was commanding U.S. and Afghan troops. There were bunkers, uh, explosive devices, IDs, um, built into the entire fabric of Marja. Two Marines were killed by an IED. Later, an Afghan man Goldstein believed to be a bomb maker was captured. But with no detention facilities, Goldstein says standard procedure was to release him. So you, you let him go, and then what? I set an ambush. You set an ambush to get him? Right. So he had, he could have gone any direction in Marja, and if he went back to rejoin his unit, that's when he met me in an ambush. Had he gone any other direction, we don't meet. And when I think of an ambush, I think of a, a squad or a group of soldiers. Were you, was it just you? I'm, I'm, I'm not going to be on that one. Okay. I mean, I, I don't want to have that kind of answer on camera, but I'm just not going to okay. speak to any of that. Goldstein explaining he didn't want to expose teammates to negative attention. In 2011, he told his story during a job interview with the CIA, triggering an army investigation that produced no formal charges against him. Goldstein, however, was stripped of a Silver Star decoration for valor earned in Marja and his special forces status. But it was after this 2016 TV interview, the army reopened his case. Did you kill the Taliban bomb maker? Yes. Two months ago, the army charged him with murder. Did someone order you or instruct you or no. give you the authority to, no. to set this up? I had the authority. I was a battle space owner. I own the southern third of Marsha. Goldstein says the army misquoted him as saying he took the Afghan man to his home and assassinated him. But he does acknowledge burning the body. Some might look at that as an effort to conceal. From the minute we went in there, there were no civilians. There's no one to claim stuff, to claim bodies. And so that was a, a battlefield hygiene and a, and, a, and a removal of hazard. Goldstein and his wife Julie say the case against him is riddled with contradictions and misconduct by investigators, calling it a career maker for prosecutors. Anyone that has been in combat and, and killed an enemy under this standard would, could be considered as a, a murderer. The case has sparked considerable backlash against the military and support for Goldstein. My inbox is flooded with messages of love and support from people that I, ha I don't know. President Trump called Goldstein a military hero, promising to look into the case. Is there anything that you regret, any decision that you wish you had not made? Not at all. Same not circumstances all. today put you back in Mars, are you do it again? Absolutely. In a statement, the military says sufficient evidence exists to warrant the charges against him. Goldstein has waived a scheduled hearing next month and wants to go straight to trial. The maximum penalty for premeditated murder is death. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.